Hello, Bonsa Cards, my name is Hotsosi and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. And today we will make a start uh, with our progress with the Iron Volcano down here. But I think first we need to deal with a few things around that, uh, especially if we have a volcano we need to have a way to cool things down and last time we also run out of our water supply so that will also be something that we need to tackle for cooling we will need steel and uh, and uh, uh, a bit of plastic luckily we have a glossy draglet egg here so once we get that uh, hatched and uh, grown up we should get some plastic out of that as well but i think first things first over here we do have a water geyser which is pretty hot, but it gets us water that we can then use uh, uh, to get a bit of hydrogen uh, by using a an electrolyzer and pump it in here in this uh, anti-entropy thermal nullifier, which will then basically work as our um, start up cooling system and in order to because this can get really cold and if we pump water through that uh, we want to not freeze the water in the pipes so what we will have here is some storage tank and only if the water coming into the storage tank um, then it will go first through the cooling process and then in the storage tanks a at least that's how i imagine it should work but let's dig through here then bridge over that way Um, go through there, probably a bit further, and then hopefully we can go down here in a straight fashion um, and do something on this side. And this will be a bit of, uh, of a slow progress, uh, but uh, at least we are not in a hurry. And we also only have five duplicates. I don't think we can afford to have more uh, due to our uh, food supply. Well, currently we have more than 100 kilocalories. Uh, that's mostly due to uh, some influx of meat we got from uh, uh, from wolves that hatched and I don't think our meat supply is uh, that stable um, so we would, could add more duplicates uh, to our little cozy colony but I also don't think we have a need for it. The only thing is everything, everything takes a bit longer at this point. And once we have the electrolyzer going here, that will create uh, hydrogen on one side, uh, which will, will feed in there. But we can then also feed into a hydrogen um, 
generator to get the, the electrici electricity to uh, basically supply the pumps down here. Um, and then the oxygen, I think, we could have somewhere around here an uh, um, uh, atmosphere dock that could be supplied by oxygen from that set. So, you know the plans uh, I have laid out here. Uh, so I think uh, we will just uh, have to wait and see for the duplicates to do the work. Uh, and then we can plan out the next step here uh, with with this uh, with this vent as um, as well as the surrounding stuff once we get there. We have the basin ready to catch all the water, so I think it's it's now time for the next step digging this out uh, and let's do that with priority six once we have this wall done here we can then also uh, check about the finer properties of that um, of that volcano of that geyser and we will have a pump here. Uh, we will make that out of um, aluminium ore. And then we need a facility where we will create a bit of hydrogen. And Usually, uh, when we are focusing on uh, on these kind of things, um, we have a double setup going, like here, because we we really want to have the oxygen out out of that system. But I think here. We will go a bit a uh, different route and have this one here. And then normal tile. And then we shall have also a pump up here. And close all that. Have a door there. And then we can have this pipe going through here and this one will then also connect to, to over here because we will hopefully only use part of, um, of the water um, that, that we will need. So we will need to take all this out and for now um let's just try and uh and vent this here and this one wants to go ah uh, let's cancel that um, because we also need a bit of power. 
So and this power we hook up to there. Uh, I think down here we can get away with this kind of wiring. That should work, I hope. If not, we will find out. Um, but of course, we need this here to control the whole thing. And that then should enable us to have a bit of access going on here that we can pull down. And then <coughs> here on this side, we will have There's something growing. Um, we will have water containers. Okay. Um, let's analyze this one and There, <coughs> that second one, we need pipe going from here, that's the output to here, and then this will also go down here. This will connect to there. And we will have we will have a liquid shot off here with a thermal sensor there that we will connect um which means let's reconnect the gas pipe and then the liquid pipe shall go over to there. And it will come in. Uh, that was the wrong button. Here, I think that should work. If we do this, that means we have to have a bit of artificial floor there. Nice, we get water out of it. Uh, the water is not cold but it's also not boiling either uh, but as you can see we have quite a bit planned out for our duplicants to do and i have been keeping an eye on our calories they are going up so i think if a suitable duplicant comes along and by suitable 
I mean, probably someone building supplying. Um, building, cooking, farming, building, operating. Uh, not really what I'm looking for. So we will take the eggs. Eggs are always good. And eventually this one will be done. And we can then turn our attention to uh, finish this part down here. And as you all so saw, I added uh, uh, a hatch farm here uh, that's basically on one side to g have a means of get a bit more meat but maybe also uh, for a bit of, of coal supply there and down here I plan out something for uh, for mushrooms However, the problem there will probably be that we don't really have any any slime. So we will see how that idea um, goes. But as I said, let uh, the duplicate do their work and uh, we will meet up again once all this is finished and we can dig this part out and connect the remaining pieces. Now with almost everything finished, save the uh, hamster wheel, let's turn our attention on this side where we will dig out here and here, break this block so we can actually go down here then open this door and and finish the job and we will need this pipe here and then with the water pipe we will we will wait off until we have everything dug out properly, accessed the thing below there. Um, so we can do this the right way. And should not be that long, though it is quite a way for the duplicates to go. Uh, we still have not yet found a good duplicate. Um, Lindsay, you would actually be quite good. You can dig, you can build and you can operate. And uh, otherwise you're not that shabby as well. Oh, ah, there you are. So you go on construction first. And then I'm I'm thinking uh, here that's that's our return line. Uh, uh, it goes this way, this way, that way, this way. And we will have to figure out uh, how much normal pipe and how much uh, uh, radiant pipe we will will need down here because we don't want uh, to cool the liquid uh, to a state where it is freezing. That would be bad because that would break um, break the pipe. 
So, I think that you can see the, the plan there. Just need to connect this pipe uh, here in the middle. Once we have everything figured out, dug out, and uh, opened this door, once we uh, uh, can actually get uh, down there. And then we should be able to pump out this water, produce a bit of hydrogen, power the whole thing, and cool the whole thing. And here, this liquid shut off is set to uh, 20 Celsius above. So if we get water that's warmer than 20 degrees Celsius, it goes through this loop cool stand before it ends up in the liquid reservoir. All right, let's wait for the duplicants to, to finish that bit. And then hopefully we can see this thing working. Now that all the pieces are in, you can see this setup is running. We're producing hydrogen. Well, some goes in here. Loading the battery. The auto part going down here. So I would have expected that we also get a bit of uh, water going this way. That's because we have an output pipe here. Let's do this slightly different then. Have the output pipe there. Connect it like this. Uh, and this part we probably don't need. And here we will run into the problem where we have too much pressure from all the gases that we are producing. But hopefully that's something that we can fix sometime soon when we uh, build in the uh, the atmosphere dock. Ooh, nice. Yes, you can see we get some water going through here. That's five degrees. And it comes back at 20 degrees. So we start storing some some cool water there and by the looks of it the water needs to make more than one round to cool down sufficiently but that's fine as as well so with that uh, we probably need this this hamster wheel here for a while because uh, we are not producing power constant enough to to uh, power the system but eventually we will once we have sorted the, the air pressure thing and I am thinking uh, between now and next episode, uh, I will I will put in the atmosphere dock, uh, probably around here somewhere, and then next time we can focus on the volcano 
and maybe even on steel production but we will see about that in the next episode i hope you enjoyed it and tune in next time for more oxygen not included until then goodbye